Hello pilots, I just wanted to go over my uh, new sewing workstation. Um, you've seen different pieces of it, but now it's all put together and complete. Um, to go over each and every detail here real quickly, um, this whole cabinet is on casters, so it rolls out real easy. So there's a back panel here that's about oh, 15 inches wide that will flip out and increase the the size of the workspace and so you just roll the cabinet out to do that and then um, another good feature about this cabinet is they all have soft close drawers so they close by themselves the last inch when you touch in but I didn't do that right I gotta go a little further than they close yeah and then uh, I got a new multi spool rack so that all oh, my thread is uh, ready to go. I only use three different types of thread so depending on which one I use I'll just string that one up and then when I switch uh, pergolite line sizes um, and I need to switch thread then I just cut that thread and, and thread up the, the next size so it's all right there and ready available. Makes it real nice and sweet. And then my bobbins are all in, in the case here all preloaded up as well as my presser feet on this little table right there. And so when I switch the bottoms out, um, before I used to have to uh, raise the machine up and to get to the sewing machine arm in order to change the uh, bobbin, but now the way this table is designed, um, I don't have to do anything. All I do is just go down underneath. Here the door is accessible. And I just flip it open, which is right here. So I just flip that open, and I could see from the top through the, the clear table um, on how to go about it all so it makes it real quick and easy um, and as far as my paragliding lines go they're all stored on this uh, Lazy Susan so they're already available and easy accessible and then um, hey gotta have my coffee holder here so my cup slots right here so if I do spill it it's gonna spill on an area that's uh, not gonna be affected by you know my work that's up here and then I got a little trash container from that's um, easily accessible and it's out of the way then I got a knee lift for lifting and lowering my presser foot and then this new light it's a slim line daylight slim line three light it's so sweet let me uh, show you how it works all you do is just touch this little button and talk about daylight I think it's bright in here now, watch this. So as I touch the button right there, it's just like boom. Jeez, it's bright. And what's really neat, it's, it's angled such that the uh, light is away from your eyes. And so it doesn't blind you, but it lights up the work surface really well. Then I have a spotlight to get it even brighter. You know, getting older, you need as much light as you can get. And so that helps a lot. And then when I go ahead and splice lines up instead of sewing the end loops, um, I have this uh, magnifying glass that has a, a light underneath it as well. And so I'll use this little workstation here to splice my lines up. And, and then uh, one of my drawers has all my splicing tools in it. So my different uh, needle size, the loops and the latches. and different uh, needle diameters that go through different uh, peg gliding line sizes because you know some lines are like super thin and some are super thick so I got needles for each and every size to make splicing these you know relatively easy than they would be otherwise and uh, what else can I show you here so I got the light well hey let's just go ahead and sew a line here real quick so I got my settings at, this is 2.6 millimeters for width, it's length, okay, we're all set, foot tension is 10, upper tension 6, stitch width, one and a half, this will work, okay, let's go ahead and get the needle down, let's, uh, let's let her rip. So we do a reverse stitch for about a centimeter, and then we go forward, and then before I go forward, I got my sewing jig here that I invented that uh, makes it relatively easy. And then go forward.
first stitch for the last set of mirror. You know, I didn't seal my end there, but this is just uh, practice. Oops, I thought I did reverse, but I didn't hit reverse. Now I hit reverse. So I missed it with my error. an example of what she's capable of and uh, so that's my streamline setup here for uh, sewing in loops and paraglider lines um, it's been a couple years of work to get this all affordable and, and together before I had a soul workstation over here as you can see right there, cabin that the lid flips over on either side and the doors flip open to hold those doors that flip on the top and uh, just didn't have enough workspace and convenience. And so, you know, I finally upgraded to this and now life is easy and sweet the way it should be.